So for this one, we have C3H4. So all you're going to do is list the valence electrons. So C has um, carbon has uh, four valence electrons times three, and then hydrogen has one valence electron times four. So this will equal 16 overall. And now um, when you try to make your molecule, uh, what you usually want to do is link the carbons together, then add in the hydrogens. So what do I mean by that? You add in, you have your carbons linked together, then you add in your hydrogens to give it um, zero formal charges. And the line just represents two electrons. So each one represents two electrons. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we have all of our electrons and zero formal charges on each of these. So let's see why it's a zero formal charge. So formal charge, um, carbon is a element four. Uh, it's in group four. So therefore, we'll have four here. And then now we just count the bonds. One, two, three, four. So four minus four will be zero. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four. Four minus four will be zero. Next, we'll have hybridization. Now for hybridization, it's a little different because we count we count um, the domains. So what do I mean by domain? Well, it's it's every it's every time it links with another atom or it's a lone pair. So for example, this is a domain, this is a domain, and this is a domain. So this has three domains. So one, two, three. And now the exponents should add up to that. It should add up to three. And remember that there's always a one here. It's S1, P2. We just don't write the uh, one because it's implied. So one plus two is three, and we have three domains. So this one will be sp2. Over here, we have one, two, two domains. So it should add up to two. So remember that there's a one here and here. So s1, p1. So one plus one is two. And that's what we, ha what we have, two domains. Then finally, we have one, two, three domains, like the first one. And so once again, it will be sp2, because one plus two is three. So, and that's it. So the main thing to remember is just if you have carbons and hydrogens, the carbons will go together, then you can add in your hydrogens. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.